Okay, at this point, I'm, I'm setting the, 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 the turbine blades into our turbine. And a trick I use here is just a couple. I just put a couple paint cans that just happen to, to be the right height. Um, just to get this started. Otherwise, you, you got to get you know maybe three of these in here uh, the hard way with uh, you know to to have a stable uh, uh, structure here to work from. But now that I, now that I have a few in, I can just take these paint cans out and it stands on its own. <clears throat> and so basically, all we're going to do here at this at this point is just, I like to hang it over the edge here so I can just reach underneath the table and uh, start the screw on the bottom and then the, then the idea is you put your your fins in here and line them up and uh, and this works real good to kind of pull your your uh, You know the the top and the bottom of this turbine and together and you know any if you have any warpage in it it, it seems to straighten that out fairly well as, also so <clears throat> coming from the bottom and you want it to make make sure you hit your pilot holes as you assemble these. Now what I do, the way I have these, these set, is the um, we're just rocking these out so they come right to the edge, or not quite to the edge, just, just a, a tad behind, and uh, that actually gives us about a 41 degree angle there, uh, depending on what side of the triangle here you, you want to look at. Okay, and... Uh, and I, I came up with that angle after testing in these blades at, at, at some different angles. And, and, there, and there's a compromise. If you, if, you take the, if you take your blades and make them steeper, you know, you can take, take advantage of the higher winds better. But then your turbine won't start as fast at the lower wind. So it's all kind of a trade-off. And, uh, and I found that... Uh, that uh, you know, right there at the the forty one, approximately forty one degrees there, which is, which works out if you if you drill the your holes right, uh, you set these in here and rock these out close to your edge here, and uh, we're going to actually take some silicone one, and this is just white silicone and silicone these in the corners front back top and bottom and uh, that actually makes it uh, a fairly strong structure um, and the silicone has has a little give to it as well which is helpful um, rather than using say wood glue on it the, the silicone sticks to this material really well. So you kinda kinda go around and you know, it's a little bit of a messy job and you use it use your fingers like I do. But uh, I just keep a Keep a rag nearby and then uh, go through and clean up the excess. And so now we're going to glue in 
all of these that way with the silicone, except for one blade. We are not going to glue it in. Uh, we're going to simply screw it in and we're going to put a block that we're going to glue onto here so that it won't blow forward, okay? And the reason is, is we need to be able to take one of these blades out uh, so that we can reach in and get to that fixed magnet alternator nut. Okay, so you're going to put in uh, 15 of these and glue them in, leave one out, and I'm going to show you in the next segment um, how I set that up for the, for the one master blade that comes out. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Put all your blades in, bring them out to the edge, just behind the edge. Don't take them out so they extend beyond the edge there at all. And, uh, and then I'll, I'll see you in the next segment.